All right, um, we are back, and uh, yeah, I, I made a slight mistake. It turns out one of my videos still had the live commentary after all. It's just for some reason the first and last one that didn't have the audio. I don't know why, but I'm certainly not complaining. It just means one one less thing to redo. So from here we're in the Chroma League, and. It took an excessively long time, at least 10 or more battles, well, 10 or more league sets of 6 battles, just to get this far. And I did lose a few, making me have to start over as well. It was a real pain, and I'm really not looking forward to it. Now, and now that we're done with that, we can actually go to the tournament. The uh, three battle part, the one that's not taxing on one's mental state. So yeah, from here on, I'm, c I'm controlling Lucario, and and after all those events in the previous episode, Lucario didn't gain an, a lick of EXP at all. So, I would have been a lot better off just choosing somebody who's already leveled up, like, say, Libre or anyone, really. Because all those events I did would have been way easier if I had chosen somebody who actually had, you know, some actual stats. By now, my Lucario is like, instead of level 1, he's more like level 10-ish, 15-ish. I forget. I get him past 25 at some point, maybe run in here. But yeah, thankfully I've already set my uh, supports back to um, what they should be. Because it was so painful relying on those other supports. They did virtually nothing for me. The uh, Dragonite Bikini one, on the other hand, was probably the only useful one, and that's only for while I still had it. Gotta love that Bone Rush, it's really handy in that, like, Hadoken that goes upwards, sort of like Goki from Street Fighter 4. Oh man, and that's. and that screw you laser, it's so beautiful. I love it. Makes them so much easier. You know, it's probably better that I'm doing this post commentary because if the previous episode was any indication, like, uh. I was sort of getting tired of this game at that point from just taking. Oh, yeah, I'm level 28 now. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> I leveled up quite a bit. The cargo is like one of the few times where I actually, uh. Um. Actually divided my stats up. I don't remember anything I did in the previous episode because I didn't need to watch it. <laughs> I just realized, is that like a random pillar or just Lucario's bone rush? Or, or like bone he's using the handstand on? I think it's his bone. But I can't imagine there'd be a random pillar there and then just gone. Some of these grabs, I'm not even sure if they really count as a grab. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looking at the shield for a second. Uh, has anyone ever noticed that they, that those shields look like they would fit Suicune and nobody else? It'd be kind of interesting if everybody had like a different designed shield, depending on who they were. Like, Lucario would cover himself with aura to block, and Pikachu would, like, a, have a lightning wall. And, it's, and, like, say Machamp would just use his arms as a guard. It'd be pretty... It'd be sweet, but it'd be a whole bunch of extra unnecessary work.
Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to have Lucario be at a decent level. But it's mi but like I just hate how like there's been so many times where I would just uh I'd be so close to winning and I would just be set to dead and I could have saved myself by just used my uh my synergy burst even when the enemy was already dead. Well, basically dead by rights. But nope. By trying to save that that I always seem to lose something at least once in a while. It's really, uh, off-putting, to say the least. And there's that 10, and 10 million for PG. And I'm still not even done with it. There's still that 30, 000, or 30 million PG. I could probably, hopefully, redo these tournaments to uh, build that up quickly, but... Ideally, I'd like to get that done before spending any other PG. Yeah, I have so many bad memories of Wilo. I think I lose a match here, I'm not sure. Because uh, I certainly lost so many of that, I could probably say I lost one somewhere in the be right in my old unused footage. After this, though, I need a break from this. Yeah, I, 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 I hate when the enemy goes into synergy burst mode. You never, because it's that those, those synergy burst attacks are the last thing you ever want to get hit by. And thankfully, Weavile's got pretty poor range with the burst attack. So as long as you're nowhere nearby, you should be able to not get caught by it. Yeah, it's, this is another one of those cases where, like, where like I am at most of my health and I'm already suddenly almost dead. Yeah, I. I <sighs> well, you have, to, you have to admit, Quagsire is at least a decent support Pokemon. It's meant purely to get in the way, and it does its job really well. Yeah, there's that thing I was talking about in, like, a couple episodes ago, like, if you try to use your attack and then they pull out their synergy burst, it fails. Yeah, if it weren't for counter, I certainly would have lost this. I, I, I do like Revolve, but I should, I should really try using him more. Come on, Rushram, do your thing. That's a... Yeah, I think Rushram's probably the strongest support Pokemon you can get. Well, I haven't tried Evil Fall yet, so I don't know. Yeah, apparently, like, if you go to your messages, you can see all, like, all the Pokemon they talk about are all the Pokemon that um, you can use as support Pokemon. So, so it's already a spoiler from there, as it is. But this game is pretty short, and, okay, I really hate endless combos like that. And if I recall, like, at this one Smash tournament I went to one day, it was like a... Um, they were talking about Sh um, Mewtwo having it, or Shadow Mewtwo having it, an unlimited combo. Make which, if that's true, that means he'd be utterly broken. I have yet to really see it, and I really hope I don't see it. And on those five stars, that I was very happy to see that when I ended the matchup. Because at five stars, I, I just feel like I did something. Yeah, 
I don't recall like saying the expert title in, um, in some of the uh, lower ranked tournaments or the league matches. If you're not expert by going through here, or maybe it's based on Mungle, I'm not sure I have to check. If you were to get it through here, that, then that means that people from the higher leagues are doing lower league matches anyway and still getting destroyed. And that 4 million put PG is very appealing. I should really try to redo these. Yeah, Oblivion Ring. I, I really do want to try the, um, this set soon. Just have to decide um, um, if it's any good. And this whimsical one. It's a fun little uh, strategy, but... If you rely on having your support available at the beginning of the, each match, then you probably don't want to use it. If you barely, if you don't rely on it, period, then whimsical is probably your, be your best bet, because it could screw you, your opponent over. For a championship battle, though, it seems kind of short. And it really does make me wonder, like, how often does the Faram region's champion change? Yeah, like a lot of a lot of people in Pokemon seem to have hairstyles like that. He's sort of like a mix of Lance and Lysandra's hairstyle. Hmm. Or maybe Drake? It's more like a Bruno built with a Lysandre wildness general hair shape as Lance and Drake. And color as Drake. I gotta say though, Machamp, while he, he, he may not be much for range, he's an absolute monster of close. And I think he's got the most HP out of any of the uh uh, other Pokemon, except for maybe Sweeping. So I guess if you, if you, if you want to, like, last longer in a fight and, and use that as a way to win, then I suppose you could use Machamp. I... Yeah, this is so stupid. That did, that did a ridiculous amount of damage. And I didn't even get to move before he KO'd me. But on the other hand, I, I'm not too mad about that, because I got to show him Lapras and how to ride a surf. Yeah, I wasn't too eager to let him get near me while he was in Synergy Burst. So I just held or stood still and held the A button. Seems to work wonders on hard level AI. Yeah, I think there's like maybe been a grand total of three, maybe four times where an AI's avoided my Lapras by jumping over it. It's very rare, so I still consider it reliable. It's gotta be weird having four arms like that. Or at the very least, convenient. I kinda wonder what kind of multitasking things you could do that would be much easier if you had extra arms. I'm just getting off topic. Here I am blasting them with a special that somehow doesn't kill them. So all I do is hold down the A and use my screw you laser and you're good. What was that? <laughs> yeah, four and a half stars isn't bad. See, so yeah, I think Lucario is my highest level Pokemon now. And there's some wasted EXP because I somehow go... Pa I really, really wish you could just level up as many times as you had the EXP for. It would save so much time. Oh, 
君がチャンピオンだよくそこまでアートナーとの共鳴を鍛えたものだまだまだわしも怪力も修行が足りんということいい目標ができた再び戦う日が来るのを楽しみにしているぞチャンピオンは単なる強さだけでなく心の強さも重要だうん With those wor ending words of his, it makes me wonder. Seriously, just. How do the championship rules work here? Obviously, the championship seems to change a lot, and it's always a, apparently a one on one battle for three rounds. That trophy kind of reminds me of a soccer trophy. It kind of looks like a soccer ball, except it's more hexagonal rather than spherical. So, yeah, the main story is over, and now it's time for the credits. It's a nice little showcase here. You could skip them, but I chose not to. If, if anything else, it's really just a nice reminder of how good on um, there are at making these cutscenes. Very high quality mo models as well. And that, as you'll see here, Bowman just start phasing in.